Hello, now uh, I want to demonstrate you the concept of tab layout and view pager. I want to demonstrate you how to create a tab as well as and how to link it with the view pager like WhatsApp is doing. So I'm just giving my name of the project that is uh, tab view pager dev. I'm creating this application in Kotlin. I want to develop the application like the WhatsApp. Like uh, in WhatsApp, there are three tabs are there. One tab is for the message, another tab is for the status, and the last one is for the calling. So uh, what I want to do in my project, in my project, uh, my in this application, I want to develop the three tabs, right? Uh, so for this, first of all, you need a uh, two controls from the palette. The first control name is the <clears throat> that is tab layout and another one is the view pager so uh, here in uh, <clears throat> first of all we don't want this hello world just i will uh, click on the hello world and i will just click on the delete then in search pen panel you can just type tab in uh, third option you will find out the tab layout you just need to click over the download it will add the dependency to the gradle would you like to add this now if you press the yes okay then it will add this dependency into gradle and now you will be able to put the table out just drag and drop the uh, table out and put it out uh, in the upper of your main activity <laughs> by default there are three tabs are there one is for the monday another one is for the tuesday and another one is for the wednesday if you execute this application definitely you will find three tabs one is monday tuesday and wednesday but actually what we want not only tabs we want uh, some spaces also see here these are the three tabs but depending upon the tab selection i want to change the content over here and that content you can place into the view pager so now what we need to do the first thing is from uh, here in design just uh, set this uh, tab layout and uh, click on the info constraint once it is over then remove this three tab item because we will add it programmatically I don't want to add it uh, statically right so I will just remove this once it is over you can uh, you can again uh, click on the uh, sorry uh, I removed all this I just need to remove what only items so just select the items up to Wednesday and then uh, click on the delete now uh, programmatically I want to add the tabs right so uh, one more thing that is required is what uh, not only tabs we need here the pager area also so just search view pager and you will find the view pager just uh, uh, drag and drop it and it will be placed inside your activity main so now let me clear the concept what we want to do whenever user click on any tab the content of this view pager should be changed once it is over now what to replace in this view pager right the first task is we want to change the different different fragments so what we need in our project so uh, we need three different fragments so i will just right click on app new fragment and take the blank fragment just give the name of the fragment suppose uh, this is my fragment that is related to message fragment or you can give any name so right now i am just passing the fragment one let me take one more fragment right click new fragment and fragment blank just provide the name of the fragment that is fragment number two once this two fragment is created you can take one more fragment that is again fragment blank and this is fragment number three once you take all this fragment our task is what to link all this fragment with the resource so just move to the layout resource and in each fragment you can just check there is a one text is there hello blank fragment i just want to change the text i don't want it is hello blank fragment i want to make it change and i just want to set here this fragment is related to for example messages will be available over here right and i want to set the text color also 
so text color is primary dark and uh, text to size that is 40 db right so i just put it down here messages text color right uh, same thing i want to change into the fragment number two uh, let me change uh, let me move to the design and here you can pass the same thing but this is not a hello fragment i just want to change and i just want to change the text the text is the second text is status after this i also want to change the text to the third fragment in third fragment also i want uh, i will move to the design i will paste all these colors and all these things and then i will change the text the text of the fragment should be uh, for example i want to make it here calls now there are three different fragments are there i want to load all these three fragments to in, uh, in a especially in for each uh, tab right so all this my fragment are ready now i just want to add it to my each main activity file so nothing is required now just let's see what to do simple just right click on your package and add one kotlin file because whenever you want to set something inside any view pager we need a one class and that class name is for example let me define the class page adapter so i will just create the class which inherit from fragment page adapter in fragment page adapter we need to uh, pass, pass it out the values to the parents but we need a, at least two methods what we want to set and how many tabs we want and for each tab what we want to perform so here in get count method i will just written the static three why because i want the three tabs for each position what i want to replace that we will write it down in get item method in get item method you can just pass this the one position when po if position is zero then what we want to do simple just to return uh, earlier we created the fragment one and fragment one is related to fragment one is related to messages so i just want to uh, whenever uh, first tab is loaded i want to uh, load the first fragment that is uh, fragment one when position is one it means middle tab is there then i want to load the second tab that is status and when the last tab is loaded i want to load the fragment number <coughs> three once all fragment are loaded uh, we also need to provide here else case what if uh, no any value is uh, passed just pass out the fragment that is static to you i'm just passing the fragment number one now uh, i did it for all uh, position but i need to define the title also right so uh, first thing i want to do is what here just pass down uh, what parameter you will uh, receive from the user when uh, user is creating the object of page adapter so, so uh, we need an object of fragment manager right so just take input from the user take the parameter fragment manager and pass the same to the super class so what it will do it will pass the same value to the super class also from main activity i need to call this class so it is very simple just call view pager dot adapter is equal to we created the class page adapter in page adapter just to pass support fragment manager support fragment manager will pass an instance of the fragment manager to this it will load the get item and get item will be a call for each position depending upon the count so for each position it will load the content of each tab but it is not still linked it is not still linked let me uh, run and execute the application you will find it out that there is no link between the but see uh, there are three tabs is already loaded but there is no link with the uh, <coughs> tab layout so what to do one line is enough for this i just need to pass here tab layout tab layout dot setup setup with view pager is the function in which pass your view pager what it will do 
it will link your content with the tab layout but still there is one issue tab is already loaded but for each tab title is not uh, displaying whenever you want to change the title just move to your page adapter and override one more method and that method name is get item uh, get page title whenever user calling this method right uh, what we need to do simple when just pass the position just pass the position if the position is zero what you want to write it down in the title of the tab so i'm just writing here title is message should be my title one more one and two what you want to write into title what you write into title so i'm just writing here right uh, title that is message uh, the second one is a status and third one is the calls let me check it is walking or not so for each position i am just checking what see now my message is my title status is my title calls is my title and thus there are three different fragments are loaded you can also click over here status calls and messages depending upon the tab selected data will be loaded as well as you can directly slide it over here also like that we are doing in the whatsapp this two component is known as a this component is a view pager this component is a tab layout which is required to create a one class that is page adapter and we just need to establish the correction between the main activity and fragment using adapter and page layout this is all uh, uh, thank you for listening me thank you thank you